Okay, so if I may start. You can start. Yes. <laughs> Today in our... <laughs> okay, cool. One thing. Today in our special program, we will have a unique guest. This person is known for you all, but at the beginning, I must say, this is not this guy from Hollywood. Not this, what you know from the movies, the blonde, handsome guys. It's the original one that, mm. was, that comes from the mythology and it was very, very long ago when people were running with axes, plundering villages <gasps> and burning everything. So it's not rather this handsome and pretty guy with a smile. <laughs> it's the original one. And to start, say hello to the God of Thunder, the protector of the nine worlds. It's Thor! Woo! <laughs> oh my lord! So it's good cool. to be here, man. I know you got to be a bit like Johnny today. And to be honest, I'm sorry <laughs> to disappoint you that I do not look like this handsome guy from the corner that he didn't want uh, the handsome guy, so I think. <laughs> <laughs> so. What would you say about you? Uh, may I interrupt you for a moment? Because I think you uh, look really familiar, you know? Have we met earlier? Yes. No, no, definitely no. Ah, I, I can see. It's good to see again now. <laughs> so, as uh, my dear friend said, I am the God of Thunder, but I want to the God of Fire, because, you know, I bring the thunder from the sky, and with the thunder comes storm. Storm comes rain, and that's how you bring water to the fields and food for the farmers. But uh, I guess you are more interested in the whole protector of the Asgard and the uh, Nine Realms thing. So, mainly, my main job is to protect the Nine Realms, mainly Midgard, your world, <laughs> from the ice giants. These evil guys who want to destroy the world and bring the Ragnarok. They are nice ones. Shut up. I'm the main star today. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my main job, and I think I'm really good at this. Have you ever seen any ice giant? No, we haven't. Yeah, that's mean. I'm the best. <laughs> so, uh, the ice giants, and uh, are there any other treats? I want you to tell something about your job. What do you do? How do you protect everyone? As you can see, I have my lovely hammer. <laughs> Me only, this is my thing to do my job. So, when you see the lightning in the sky, that means I'm going to battle to fight some evil guys. This is my job, my only job. I, I also like to drink, to have fun, to, you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm just a guy like you, so... Okay. Maybe but still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are your famous adventures? What can you say that you're proud of? For oh, example? Oh, oh, oh. My friend. So, one day, long time ago, me and my friends from Asgard came to a lord of the sea named A. We wanted to have a feast in his house because he was famous from his uh, giant kitchen and good food. But he said that uh, he won't give us any beer or meat because actually he didn't have any cooking pot or something like to prepare this drink. But then I, my friend here came with an idea. He said his stepfather has the, the most, the biggest cooking pot in the world. So. Me and Tyr came to his house and asked, Can we borrow it? But he said no. But not the next day, we came to Firefish, me and Kirger, because that was his name. We were really far away from the shore, and 
Suddenly, the giant storm appeared. That wasn't my storm, actually. <laughs> but still, we came back fishing. He had he fished like two whales, but I wanted something bigger, you know. And I catched giant snake, the biggest snake on the earth. Yorgunander, this is name. This is the biggest and the wildest creature in the world. I tried to catch him, but Kevin was afraid, so he caught the string and the beast was unleashed. I was really angry and he was also because he said that I that was the giant threat and I could kill him and myself. And I was like, man, what are you talking about? I had everything under control. It was just one another crazy story. <laughs> we went for his house to prepare dinner and I asked him, like, I'll show you, I'm, I'm strong enough. He borrowed me this cooking pot, I, I want to drink. And he said, no. So we made a bed, get really cool grass. Uh, and he said, if you, if you are able to destroy it, you can take my pot. I said, no problem. I just take, you know. I destroyed two pillars in his house, but the grass didn't destroy it at all. So, I came up an idea. He had, you know, really strong hair. <laughs> so I destroyed the grass on his head. And I won the bet. Nice. We came with tear with the pot and look at the fist. That was really a good story, you know. I remember this day. I saw this day. And that day I promised myself I will kill this beast. In the name of Ragnarok. <laughs> so that was really interesting, but maybe you will tell us, us something funnier. I mean, um, <laughs> less of. No, the short answer. Uh, what are you not proud of? Just tell shortly about some mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think the most humiliating adventure, if I can say that, was the one I had lost my color, so I had to go to the wedding as a bride to get it back if Loki has my bridesmaid. Yeah, that was, that was true. I would watch that. So one day I woke up in fear because I realized that something was wrong, my hammer was lost. And the main thing was, but my first thought was, Loki must have stolen it. But the second thought was, no, even Loki is not stupid. So, <laughs> The next idea I had was maybe I should ask Loki for his advice because he's stupid but he's also clever. <laughs> Loki said that he will look for this hammer in the open time. The next day he came back and said that, that the king of all ogres has my hammer and he wants to marry beautiful Freya, the most beautiful of all gods. And uh, actually that was really bad because Freya told me that I have to shut up and uh, she won't marry some ugly orc. So we had to decide what to do and my dear friend Heimdall said that in his opinion I had to go to the wedding as a bride because what could possibly go wrong, you know? And actually uh, goddess, my wife, dressed me in the wedding dress, Loki changed himself to the really beautiful lady, my bridesmaid, because you have to know that all the giants are able to, you know, change his their look and yeah, we use that. We came for the wedding and Loki said, Thor, we changed your look, but don't be yourself, please. <laughs> and actually I agree with him because I didn't really want to talk with this ugly giant and then the feast started. I ate like seven salmons and one ox, <laughs> and that was really actually funny because uh, the, my groom asked uh, my dear bridesmaid, which was Loki, why the beautiful Freya has, can eat that much. And he said, Freya haven't had not sleep for eight days because she was really like, stressed about this wedding. So I asked this like, groom when the wedding was started. He told me that hmm, 
we should start now. And giants came with my hammer. They had to go in four with him. But he said this, my groom said, please, beautiful player, tell me that you will love me. And I started laughing and laughing and louder and louder. And I said, I will tell only one thing. I killed everyone at the wedding. That was actually the most funny thing about it because I wanted to have some drink, have some fun, and I wanted to do it. And I got it all. Thank you. Kind of hard character in the community. That I had some problem. No, he's doing a good job. I'm doing my job, you know. So, uh, probably we should be ending, but oh. it was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> it was a pleasure for me too. <laughs> definitely, definitely, I'm sure. So, that's all for today. Actually, the host should try to lift the, the hammer. <laughs> I think you should try to lift the hammer. Try it. Try to lift it, yeah. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> you lied, exactly. Oh my lord, guys, that was fantastic. Congratulations. Wow.